hi there welcome to my channel thank you so much to my old subscribers you guys are like family now thank you so much for coming back if this is your first time on my channel please click the subscribe button and then the bell beside it so you become family and you get notifications every time i post on today's video we're going to talk about some important conversations that happened on day one of the big brother house the housemates getting to know each other and stuff i know it's difficult to place names with faces right now so i'm going to try to share a bit of clips if you want to get to know the housemates more go to the previous video because i talked about all of them their ages and they're just little things they said on stage so after the live show the housemates obviously were just having conversations here and there getting to know each other they had a meal they played some games but there's nothing i really hold on to you did what you did for, for, for the video you did it for it's just obvious some people are making a lot of more effort to bond with certain people or to find out personalities of various people so that's obviously the exercise and stuff in day one there were some conversations that i thought were you know worth sharing with you guys we can't talk about everybody to be honest because not everybody was really impactful on day one start with lacon so um lacon um shared lacon had, had a conversation with the guys he also had a conversation with a group of girls it was one he had with a group of girls the girls were nengi erika Aisha and Tolani Bosch. Then Lekon shared the fact that he had lost admission to go to the university in the UK because of ASO strike. Can you imagine like you almost you getting a scholarship and literally we couldn't they couldn't get his original transcript because of strike and stuff like that so that's how we lost the chance of studying for free in newcastle england and then he talked about his father's death the conversation like how when his brother called him was it early in the morning around 4 a.m he just knew it was his the father's death we're going to talk about because his father was ill they had you know gone to the hospital he came back home so he just took it in his stride and just kept on pushing forward he comes off like a very intelligent guy like he's not even the most handsome guy in the house to be honest he just has that intellect really love to see Leko have like lovely conversations with people who are deeper because the responses he was getting yesterday with most of the conversations i saw were very very shallow and stuff but then again he's someone who would inspire you motivate you he thinks a lot he said he's always in his mind so he thinks a lot and just has kind of like an explanation to most things that happen in life but all in all he's really intelligent the smart kid and yeah he has like a lot to offer the next person i'll talk about is nengi nengi is pretty she's just so, so, such a baby like she just has this fresh juicy intelligent still you know it's kind of cool that you would think ah this one doesn't know anything but no she looks like someone has experienced a lot and then she's really pretty as well so she talk, told us how she's now an orphan um she had lost her dad um, a long time ago and then she was kind of like with her mom alone you know her mom, she had a sister as well her mom was really tr trying her best to train them with everything she had she used to sell receive recharge card by the school place and then she used to make sure she paid her their school fees imagine like that woman is such a lady on her grind she won an award for the person that used to pay school fees early meanwhile she was really struggling that she didn't even her nengi didn't want people to know that her mom was the one selling recharge card by you know the school and everything so she would just go to school and come back in the evening help her mother because she was just cute sitting pretty there people used to give her tips and then obviously she learned a lot of hard life lessons just living like that you guys you wouldn't believe after everything she then now go into pageantry as i said she's pretty and then she's really shapey she's going into pageantry she won miss nigeria something i think in river state and then she won another award and then she got money was able to go to school and guys guess what her mom see now passed on like when she was seeing that story i felt so bad like even aisha had to say um oh my god like this your story got to me like this story but then again it was a sub story and you know how all these people always come to bring sub stories but no hers looked really genuine and in fact i think everybody's sub story is genuine just that some people use sub stories to try and get votes and stuff but yeah i just found her very strong and i really really hope she goes far in the game because she is well deserving guys i saw a tweet from royal um hairs actually saying that nengi did some free photo shoots for them that they can't even wait for her even if she leaves the first week man they're going to sign her definitely so i'm really hoping there's not one of all those audio money things i really hope they really come through for her but then again there's other companies that i'm so sure because her heart looks like a very genuine heart so we'll talk about love and everything in the next one so the next person i'll be talking about is tolani so tolani um shared um her own experiences in life she said she was born i think so she she led a good um life to be honest like financially she was on point her father was in america she was in nigeria with her mom they went to one of the best schools caleb she shall mention some schools at some point she went back to the u.s and that's okay she couldn't even cook that was something interesting she said and then her dad taught her how to cook because back in nigeria i know nigeria now we'll have all the errand boys errand girls stewardess chef everything so she wasn't even about that house but her dad taught 
taught her all that. I was born in America. Mm. I did my elementary school in America. Okay. Came back no, to I went to college. Mm -hmm. My dad taught me how to cook, he taught me everything because... When she was weighing whether she should come back, I remember when she, she said there was a time she had come, um, come back to Nigeria, probably like, are you even crazy trying to move to Nigeria? But she wasn't fully fulfilled um, doing whatever she was doing. That even when people ask her, like, when her mom asked her, what are you? Like, are you an engineer doctor? You know how Nigeria parents are ah, now? She was like, no, I want to be an entrepreneur, I want to own my own money. You know, it was just... just a, a leap of faith and then she came to Nigeria deciding what she was doing and right now she's here so while they were talking guys they said talking about continents and she didn't even know Europe was a continent we're not judging anybody for anything but yeah hope thankfully Lacon was there who corrected them told them the real continent so people were not even sure Australia Australia was a continent as well but yeah that's just by the side I just wish they didn't like highlight it too much when they shouted no it's not a continent like it was just too much yeah I was just really shy for her but yeah one of those things so Aisha now came and said talking about herself she talked about her skincare brand she said it's moving she's thankful for that and then obviously now that she's in the house uh, her sister is taking care of it and obviously when you go when she goes back it's going to pop she also said this is her fifth time of trying a big brother auditions that she had gone four times before and now the fifth time she has made it so that's another thing for you guys do not ever give up so yeah Aisha also talked about Nengi's story that oh my god she really fe feels um, so sad for Nengi and stuff it was just an all-around lovely conversation okay then Erica also talked about her mom she said she grew up with a just her mom, she had met her dad, is it three years ago for the first time and that was it, no relationship. And then she's a single mom and her mom took her to Covenant University. Guys, that is so inspiring. Like, Covenant University is one of the most expensive and amazing universities in Nigeria. So if you're a single mom who is struggling, can actually drag everything and take you there. Big ups to her mom. Okay, so that's it for the conversations in the house. So let's talk about the couples. This, okay, there's no couple yet. So let's talk about the bonding and, you know, hopeful couples in the house. So I'll start with Lilo, guys. Lilo is someone, I don't know, at some point she was annoying me, but then again, we're watching a show. We're here to watch a show. The girl is trying to get to know some of the guys very well. Like, she flirts, she plays a lot. But there's one guy she's actually spending more time with, which is Eric. I think she kind of still... Has a bit of something for maybe bright because she tries to you know want to talk but then again she might just be an open and outgoing person who is trying to get to know these guys to observe them and see you know who she'll end up with i think she also has kind of a playful relationship with neo neo Apofere. i mentioned um in the last episode about neo's surname i thought it was he could have been related to venita apparently venita follows him on instagram and there's rumors from the blogs that they are actually related um, extended really extended family kind of relationship so yeah which um he i think he talks says something about his family being like people who fight and like are very bold in the society and stuff so i would love to i would love to see more of leo neo's presence in the house he's handsome he has good conversation and yeah he's someone i'm looking forward to seeing more in the house Nengi and Ozo so Ozo was asking Nengi they were having a conversation you're just talking about what they like in the guy what they don't like in the guy you just see two of them fair looking people looking like fresh bread just talking so it's interesting to see i know um Nengi is a bit mature so i don't know if but yeah it would just be interesting to see who she eventually couples up with if she couples up this no love island but yeah you would trust it to see both of them <laughs> Then again, while she was talking, um, Dorothy was just there laughing, one kind of laugh. He was also looking at her talking. So I don't know if Dorothy's eyes is on Ozo, but yeah, we'll see. Ozo also had a conversation with Erica, where Erica was just laughing up and down. We were just talking about themselves, talking about the um, jobs, why did, why he decided to go into banking. Because of my educational background, to actually just get a job and work in a bank. Meanwhile, this was Eric and Erica. <laughs> Then Brighto and Watoni had this conversation in the garden. I didn't know why he was hiding the fact whether he had a girlfriend or a boyfriend. And she was just trying to drag it out. Okay, what's he about doing today? I need to tell me. And they were just trying to hide it. Maybe he has a girlfriend. So I don't even know. But whatever. We'll get to find out. No pressure.
Then later in the evening, Tolani and Prince were just talking about tech stuff. I just love when people cop like a guy and a girl are just talking about something else apart from relationship up and down your place. The relationship sells is Shusha, but just talking about tech stuff and he was explaining something about this tech thing, this tech thing. What while I was watching that, I was busy doing other things, so I couldn't concentrate. I'll put a little clip for you guys. Screen on the laptop on the buttons, like half of the buttons is like a screen, then they move the buttons. So guys, the head of health challenge as you have seen from the intro, Nengi won the most sweet test juiciest part of that her win was the fact that she chose guess who she chose to be the assistant hit you which i don't worry it's not also any other guy i chose watoni it was watoni and that was so exciting girl power guys and then katrina showed pictures of her daughter to the housemates unfortunately i don't have any of those pictures but yeah katrina on the other hand just said yes so please she did not come here for relationship and love she came here to promote her brand <laughs> I'm not here looking for love. I'm just here to sell my brand. And to Obviously, everybody came to put with their brand. You don't have to be telling us, but yeah, that's the last clip I'm going to put. So right now, let's see what the housemates are doing. People are dancing or something like that. So I'm just going to keep up with them. See you guys on the next episode. Bye bye.